Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. I recommend checking out the previous videos. There should be a link to the playlist in the description of this video. Uh, I'm going to set this back to render the floor textures because that's what I like. Uh, and today we're going to look at lava and toxic waste, things that are going to hurt you. Uh, so let me go ahead and just create another hallway down here. Uh, let's see. And let's go ahead and create a room. And now inside this sector, I am going to turn off Snap to Grid by pressing F on my keyboard. And I am going to just create a little zigzag pattern right there. And now we create a sector within the sector. I can choose it and I can change its floor texture to be something like lava or toxic waste. So I'll choose this type of lava. Uh, again, I'm going to move my cursor here and hit the uh, apostrophe key to move my 3D view and then hit tab to go in here. So there's your lava. You normally don't want to have the lava just like that where it goes from the texture to that. What we're going to do is we will choose that sector. Oops. And I will use the comma to move the floor down just a little bit. So there we go. And so now we have a lava sector. Now that's not going to hurt me though. It will be animated. I chose the first lava there. So let's go ahead and just give this a try. Control S, Control T to save and test. And there we go. Come in here, it's not going to hurt me though. So what we're going to do is we're with that sector selected, we're going to come up here and choose. And you can choose category, although for types, oh, it just sounds all I was going to say. There's not very many. Um, and mainly you're going to choose one of three options for the lava. You can choose damage of five. So every time it takes away damage, it's going to take away 5% of your health. 10 or 20. And then if you want the lights flashing, you can do 20 and damage. Uh, that would be more of, uh, sometimes you can pretend like a room is radioactive and it's, I mean, you might want the lights flickering and hurting you. And again, it just depends on how difficult you want that to be. Uh, so, you know, if you want to do a little bit of damage, you know, maybe you want to do a lot of damage and give them a lot of health packs or radiation suits, or maybe you're not going to give them a radiation suit for very long, so you might want to do lower damage. Um, but that is how you choose that. So now that we've done that, we can come in here and we can go over to here, and now it's taking away 5% each time. And of course, like I said, if we change that to 20 and run it again, I can come over here, and now it's taking away 20 each time it gets me. Uh, I want to test something out real quick. I'm going to choose the texture here. And again, you can change that to uh, like the nuke here. And I chose lava one. Let me go ahead and choose lava three here real quick. I want to see something. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was still animated. I wasn't sure if you didn't pick the first one, if it would be animated. Uh, another thing you want to do is like, okay, we have this pit of, of lava here, but it doesn't really look like it's it's just weird that it's stopping at the wall there. At least I think it's weird. So what most people will do, and this is, again, this is more of an artistic thing than a practical thing, but I'm going to create, oh, let me go uh, F to turn back snap, and I'm going to create a new little sector here. I guess I don't need snap mode on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose those two sectors and I'm going to move the ceiling down like so. It's right there. So now it looks like it's pouring in from under the wall and pouring out on the other side or vice versa. So, again, techniques there. Again, we can uh, also turn grid off here. I'm going to go vertices and I'm going to create a rough room here. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to change the floor to be like a dirt and the ceiling to be the same thing, I guess. And I'll choose the textures and I will go to something that's like a uh, more of a rocky stone or something like that. And I'm getting into switches. I guess I can choose something like this. Let's go see how that looks. Actually, it looks horrible, but we'll leave it like that. And then again, I can, in vertices mode, I can make a nice little. Pond. And 
Now I can choose that again, move the sector down a little bit. Usually just eight is fine, which was one click. Uh, I'll want to change that to be something I'm looking for, like just a brown dirt It's probably at the top. Yeah, all the way, here we go, that looks good. And we will change the ground to be something, whoops, I didn't mean to scroll on that. There's a uh, water in here as well. We can do, I guess it's not called water. We'll look for it. I guess maybe W would be good enough. No. We'll just scroll to, oh, I'm on wall textures. That's why I'm not seeing it. Sector mode. Now let's try water. There we go. And now we have a water texture and you don't have to make that hurt you. You don't have to make the other stuff hurt you if you don't want. Um, what I usually like to do, you know, if I have water here or Again, maybe uh, lava. Sometimes I like to take that. Let's talk about sky textures. So let's go ahead. We have this sector selected. I'm going to go ahead and move the ceiling up a little bit. And then I'm going to scroll down here until you see this little mountain, which looks like a sky. I'm going to uh, right click or click here and choose that. So I'll just right click. And it just gives you a blue, but that's going to be a sky. And the sky texture that shows up in the game depends on what level you're on in the game. The game is set to show different sky textures based on what level you're on because certain levels you might be in hell, certain levels you might be on the moon, certain levels you might be on earth. So it's whatever level it is. Let's go ahead and save this. Now again, I did not add anything to that uh, texture over there. This one will hurt me, taking away 20 each time. This one does not. So you gotta make sure that you put uh, that sector uh, type to to do that, but you can see our sky texture there. And that's how you do skies by choosing that texture. And that can be a little funky depending on the way your walls go. Uh, but in this particular case, that was pretty easy. So you have this nice little uh, opening in the ceiling where, where the lava pit is. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for lava and toxic waste. Obviously, uh, let's go ahead and change this to be nuke. And then things I can add here. Uh, under bonus material, bonus things, we can choose a suit. And let's go ahead and choose this and now make it, it damage you. You can make any sector damage. It doesn't have the texture on the floors and ceilings and walls doesn't matter. Uh, you can choose um, those. Uh, another thing, so now that's set to damage. Uh, let's go here to here, here to here. So now it's, I can make it so that it is pouring into there. Let's go ahead and choose a floor. But instead of those, let's go ahead and choose blood. So now we have this pool of blood. And again, you can have the um, wall, uh, another sector there, so it looks like the, wall, the blood's pouring out from under there. Or I believe we should be able to choose this wall. Oh, and there we go, blood waterfall. Let's go ahead and see. So now you have the blood pouring out of there. Although now it seems like it's coming out of the ceiling, so we can still, if we want, um, V, create a little sector here. Maybe pull it out a little bit more so you don't see it. And what we're going to do here is choose this sector, move it up like this. Now it kind of looks like it's pouring out of somewhere. And we'd want to change these wall textures to be something else. So probably that same. If you want something to do the same texture, so I can hover my mouse over this and it shows over here. This says rock two. So now I come over here and say rock two. There it is. And I can select it for those other wall textures. So now we have, you know, the waterfall of blood pouring out of there over to here. Nice and pleasant stuff. Anyway, that is making sectors with lava, those animated uh, floor textures and adding damage to them. But now we have the suit here that should protect me from any of that. I, mean, I thank you for watching. And I don't know why blood would hurt you, at least not, at least immediately, you know, it might give you some diseases that would hurt you over time. Uh, some people make blood hurt you, some people don't. It all depends on the designer of the level. Anyway, I thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description of this video to my website and to the full playlist. And I thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day.